This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. So I don't know what it's going to take. What, what seminal moment is going to have to occur for Republicans all over the country to wake up to the fact that their leader and leaders are a facade, uh, just a, a, a created caricature of what they believe is going to fool the masses that they are tough guys or big, strong, reliable men or patriots. And they do such a poor job of it that we've ended up in a situation where a vast swath of the country believes that because Donald Trump literally hugs a flag, that he loves America. They believe that because he stood out in front of a church after gassing peaceful protesters, and holds up a Bible, not his Bible, it's a Bible, that he somehow is a mighty, righteous man of God. I know people who believe Donald Trump is a a man who goes to church every Sunday and is a faithful follower of Jesus Christ. That's unhinged. People who believe he's a tough guy, when they watch him gasping for air, trying to project himself and present himself as have beaten COVID, I'm totally fine, when he almost just died. Rather than just be like, yeah, it's a devastating disease. And I really went through it, struggled, almost died. He wants to be like, nothing can stop me because I'm Donald Trump. And they believe it, they buy it. So, Asking the question, I'm really getting to, for instance, this moment from the hearings last night about the the outtakes of his having taken about an hour to film what ended up being a three-minute segment of video um, saying that they're going to hold the, the wrongdoers accountable who breached the Capitol, and if you broke the law, blah, blah, blah. And we get a glimpse into the things that he refused to say saying that he he doesn't want to say the election is over, that he can't say the phrase, if you broke the law. And we, we really do get a glimpse into what a bumbling, fumbling, just a, the human embodiment of f***ery that Donald Trump is. Just a feckless clown, an embarrassing, just a... A walking humiliation, moment after moment of his life. And he knows it. He knows it so well that it has, it has created in him a personality that runs from one minute to the next, projecting himself as something he is not. Here's that moment from the hearing. And, and wh- while you watch it, the outtakes from that video, Contemplate the people you know in your life who believe this guy is something that he clearly, evidence has told us, is not. Watch this. We obtained the never-before-seen raw footage of the president recording his address to the nation that day on January 7th, more than 24 hours after the last time he had addressed the nation from the Rose Garden. Let's take a look. Whenever you're ready, sir. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack yesterday, and to those who broke the law, you will pay. You do not represent our movement. You do not represent our country. And if you broke the law, you can't say that. I'm not going to — I already said you will pay. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defied the seat of dust. It's defiled, right? See, I can't see it very well. Okay, I'll I'll do this. I'm going to do this. Let's go. But this election is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over. Okay? But Congress is certified. Now Congress is certified. Yeah. 
Right. Now, Congress. I didn't say over. So let let me see. Go go to the paragraph before. Okay. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack yesterday. Yesterday is a hard word for me. Just take it out. The heinous Say attack. Heinous attack or heinous ah, good. Take the word yesterday because it doesn't work with the heinous attack. On our country. Say, on our country. Want to say that? No, no, no. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. Bumbling, fumbling, feckless clown. It's been said a lot that... Donald Trump is a poor man's vision of what a rich man must be with the golden toilets and the golden crusted house and all the nonsense. He's a weak man's vision of what a tough guy is. The the beta male's vision of an alpha male because they just can't wrap their head around what it actually is because it's not that. This is not a competent individual. I mean, just from a a cognitive level. Yesterday is a hard word for me. If we're looking at, you will pay, I've already said you will pay. I can't say if you broke the law. See, what that rings in my ear is that he had someone chirping in his, giving him advice, saying, hey, listen, You can't acknowledge that they may have broke the law because that will connect you to their crimes. It will make you possibly complicit and open you up in legal jeopardy. I don't want to say the election is over. We'll just say Congress certified because the lie had to continue. This was January 7th, 2021. Months removed from the actual election. The election was over. Certification was over. Joe Biden was well on his way to becoming the 46th president of these United States. And Donald Trump continues to this very day whipping his supporters into a frenzy, having them believe that the election was stolen, a free and fair, settled American election. And the takeaway from yesterday was the 187 minutes of absolute inaction. The 187 minutes that imagine if a foreign nation had come and uh, some military unit did the exact same thing to the United States Capitol. It would be a dereliction of duty for a president to sit by for 187 minutes and watch it play out on TV doing nothing. There's no difference whatsoever. If you think it would have been egregious for for, for nothing to be done for a hostile foreign power to do it, why would it be any different for a domestic force to do it? It is just as outrageous. And Donald Trump needs to pay. There needs to be consequence. He needs to find himself inside of a jail cell for years to come. What do you think? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, at Dollamore. And if I bring you value, if I'm your flavor of political commentator, please consider supporting my work, helping produce what I do, joining in the mission of helping in some small way to preserve our democracy. You can click the join button below, become a channel member for a buck 99 a month, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I love you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.